Everybody, we know a lot more tonight about the Carlisle teen mom now accused of the horrific crime of killing her newborn and then burning the baby's body. Turns out the circumstances are complicated and others could be implicated. Angela Ingram joins us after speaking with a prosecutor and some friends of Brooke Richardson. Angela. Well, Paula, the prosecutor says Brooke Richardson's baby was born alive and that she gave birth in the family home and then killed her baby. The 18 year old now faces several charges, including aggravated murder. Brooke Skyler Richardson had a promising future. The 18 year old graduated from Carlisle High School and she was headed to UC. Many who knew her are still trying to wrap their heads around what's happened. She was a pretty decent girl from what I saw in school. She didn't really bother anybody, so it's crazy. Today, a grand jury indicted Richardson. She faces charges of aggravated murder, involuntary manslaughter, endangering children, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. And I'm currently pregnant, and I could not put myself in her shoes. There's no way. I just, I just couldn't. The prosecutor says Richardson gave birth in early May, killing her baby shortly afterwards. Two months later, after getting a tip, investigators found the remains burned and buried behind the family's Carlisle home. Originally, investigators believed the remains were of a stillborn, but the prosecutor says testing showed that baby was born alive. Oh, I didn't really expect this at all, especially not around here. Um, it was a definite shock that uh, to see all the police and all of the news crews and everything come up and and then all the information that got released. Um, it just it came as a great shock and it was very disturbing. And the prosecutor says more will come out at trial as for a motive he believes from her perspective, keeping the baby was not an option. Skyler and her family and particularly her mother uh, were pretty obsessed with external appearances and how things appeared to the outside world. And, and you have a situation where, you know, she's a she's a, a cute uh, high school uh, grad, recent high school graduate. Uh, she was a cheerleader, uh, a, a described good girl by her attorney. Richardson is expected in court on Monday. Prosecutor David Fornshell says he will likely seek a high bond considering the seriousness of today's charges. Paula, back to you. Thank you, Angela. The prosecutor had the option of seeking the death penalty, but is choosing not to. There is something known as the safe haven law in Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. It allows parents to give custody of a newborn to any hospital emergency room or police or fire station and not face any charges. You can leave an infant up to 30 days old.